Now we can go through here. We're going to look at some more stuff here. So we've got another, uh, what do we got over here? So we've got another Shelby Competition Cobra. One of 23 of the original 427 Competition Cobras produced. So if we take a look at this, we've got side pipes. Now, if we looked at the Cobras over there, by the way, there's Motor Trend right there with a big cart doing stuff. I don't know what Motor Trend's doing, but anyway, uh, Motor Trend TV is here. Um, down there, we saw the two Cobras down there. Now this Cobra, which is a real Cobra, real factory Cobra, um, has the side pipes. We noticed the side pipes were not there. Different stick shift in it. So this does not have the rear bumpers on it like the other car had a rear bumper on it. So this one has the roll bar for the driver, which the other two didn't have down there. So if we look about these, a lot of stuff is the same. This one has, uh, it's the bumper delete on the front as well. So this car here has got a little bit different. It's got a little different hood scoop than the other two down there, original ones. Um, and this one I would say probably is in the 1.5 million hour range. I don't know what it says here, but it's one of 23 original factory competitive Cobras. So this one was made to race. It was driven in Piper and Bondurant to first overall in the 1966 Films 500 at Brands Hatch, England. Um, the only significant European victory for a car like this. It's been shown at Pebble Beach. It's been shown all over the world. Um, and so this is a very, very well-known vehicle. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.